Gonna grab a ride. Here's your car. Good as new. Thanks a million. When I was a girl, the air here used to smell like the ocean. But the foreign corporations came, poisoned everything. Back in 67, we kicked them out. For decades, you could breathe the air. Then Espinosa started to sell off our industries. Then Anton took over. He opened the door for that Yankee Mackay. His operation produces the poison needed to make Viviro. And the pipeline here is a vital part of that cancer treatment. Lorenzo showed me the photographs you took of their research. Disgusting. So Yelena and I came up with a plan to cripple production of Castillo's wonder drug. Think of that Yankee's main chemical plant like a heart. And all these pipes are like arteries. Cut the arteries and the heart goes into a catastrophic state. So follow the pipes, Danny. Destroy the substations, and you'll create a pressure overload at the plant. That's when Yelena will access their computers, and we'll be able to kill McKay's poison operation for good. This is a big mission, and you're not alone.
Danny, find the control panels. You can overload the poison silos from there. Or I could just shoot them. Being a guerrilla is about precision. Sloppy work leads to too many corpses. Okay, first stop station down. You know, I used to watch El Tigre's back when he was in the field. <sighs> well, I'm glad you're watching mine. Danny, did El Tigre ever tell you about Lobo? A little. Said he was killed in combat. Why? You remind me of him. Clarence the politician. But you are a true guerrilla. Like Lobo, the Lone Wolf. I don't like worrying about others. It slows me down. But when the Lone Wolf makes the big kill, he doesn't like to share the spoils. Be careful, Danny. Why are you telling me this? Hello? Hello? Pinga. Okay. Watch yourself, Danny. I should have been a surgeon. I wouldn't go that far. Danny, I want to apologize for how I treated you when we first met. I was wrong about you. No need to apologize. I've just seen enough blood to last three lifetimes. And enough guerrillas who enjoyed spilling it. When you showed up, you had trouble written all over you. But El Tigre... He always knew a true guerrilla at first glance. He told me if anyone could save Yara, it was you. Just thought you should know. Liberta could use you, Loki. Clara could learn a lot from you. Libertad, la moral, just a club, Danny. I fight for Yara, no one else. Thank <laughs> you. 
they've got a medic. Want to go, Danny? I copy. Danny, I never told anyone this. Okay. El Tigre killed Lobo. The pinga. Back in '67, they led the final attack together. But Lobo wanted Yara all for himself. Once they took Esperanza, his plan was to take down Santos. Lobo would have undone everything we fought for. Instead of peace, he would have started a civil war. Lobo was a traitor, Danny. He left El Tigre no choice. A secret no Yaran can ever know. Why are you telling me this? Because you remind me of Lobo. You might be a hero now. You might think you would never betray Yara. But once you're on the throne, it will change you. I have no desire to rule Yara, Loki. Just know that if I must, I won't hesitate to pull that trigger. Just like El Tigre. He was the real legend of 67. And he never forgave himself for it. De nada. job taking out those substations. I've accessed their system, and thanks to you overloading the base and pressure at the plant, I can now do this. Do what, Yelena? Holy shit. 
Loki, did you hear that? All of Yara heard that. Time for phase two. Get to the plant. Just follow the smoke. Watch it. Loki, I'm at the plant. Everyone's shitting themselves. Thanks to you. Engineers are trying to repair the chemical basins. Find the control room, Danny. Yelena's waiting to be patched into the computers. Once we have access... Well, Heart attack. Got it. Elena, it's Danny. I plugged you in. Time to do your thing. Get this under in. control! Let's melt this fucker. <laughs> Elena, any chance you could hurry things up? Hacking the nerves, Danny. Don't rush me. Switch. Link the switches and... I'm the boom. 
Yeah, but there's going to be some time between flipping and kabooming. So make sure no one gets their hands on those switches. Yeah. switch. Flip the switches and... I'm kaboom. Yeah, but there's going to be some time between flipping and kabooming. So make sure no one gets their hands on those switches. switch. Flip the switches and... I'm kaboom. Yeah, but there's going to be some time between flipping and kabooming. So make sure no one gets their hands on those switches. Huh? Warning. to my ears. This is Senior McKay. Who's the fucking manager here? Call me pronto. I need to know what the hell's going on. Warning. Warning. 
Critical pressure levels detected. Danny, you won't be alone for long. Reinforcements are inbound. Cool! Someone get on the horn. ASAP. Warning. With an update. Is eso? It's in the warehouse. I unlocked it for Lucky. She should be there already. Headed there now.
say that. On my way. Danny, make sure you're alone. No Juan. This is just you and me. Danny, you did it! I'm proud of you. A Tigre would have been too. We have destroyed the only place on this island where they produce the poison they spray on the tobacco fields in the west. After they use up the poison. No more wonder drug. Danny, you're not going to believe it? But before we hit McKay at the port, I got a special request from Clara, and she's got a point. Didn't see that coming. 
We have an opportunity to do something bigger. If we destroy Castillo's oil reserves in El Este right now, it will choke his army of fuel across the island. I like the sound of that. Go hit the big red tanks all over La Jolla. Our guerrillas will help you. I sent them pics of what to target. Gracias, comadre. Mierda. <laughs> 